This is the brand new Coral Space Trail. This sport watch outshines competitors like Garmin, Sunto and Polar in terms of fire, truly standing out among the crowd. The latest release from Coros deserves its moment in the spotlight for all the right reasons. Let's dive into the detail. Starting with the price. Price at $229, the Pace 3 offers exceptional value backed by Coros renewed reliability and customer support service, plus the assurance of regular updates. Speaking of updates, Coros continues to impress. Even the Pace 2, launched four years ago, received ongoing updates, ensuring it stays up to date with the latest fitness tracking features, such as daily stress tracking, wellness check, running form test, overnight HRP, and so on. Accuracy. Accuracy is paramount in a sport watch, and the Pace 3 delivers. With an upgraded heart rate sensor and dual frequency GPS paired with proper watch and antenna design, it provides precise tracking across various activities, from running and cycling to strength training and calisthenics. No matter your preferred activity, pounding pavement or pumping heart. Put that cookie down now! With a battery life offering over 30 hours of GPS tracking on a single charge, translating to about a week of heavy usage. No more battery anxiety during workouts. Ease of use is key, especially for newcomers to fitness watch. While some may find the interface somewhat limited, it excels in simplicity and offers intuitive navigation, making tasks like pairing, setup, and training plan synchronization a breeze. Unfortunately, not everything is sunshine and rainbow. Now, onto the minor drawbacks. Build design is a bit plasticky and feels fragile, but given its price, these concerns are somewhat expected. However, the reliance on the rotating crown for navigating and the touchscreen finicky responsiveness could be improved. Many users, including myself, would prefer the simplicity and intuitiveness of a button-based interface, not necessarily like Garmin, but even hacking to the Coros Apex or Vertex model. Am I the only one who prefer buttons? Homer! Do not press the core distract button. Press distract button. Interface design. The updated appearance of the interface and the simplistic watch faces are like a blast from the past. Moreover, the monochromatic touch feel can be challenging to read, with characters and numbers sometimes cut off. Whether it's the font or the icons, it reminds me of the 90s Tetris graphics. This music still gives me chills. Lack of flashlight. Surprisingly, this basic feature is absent from the base strip. Just a very basic full brightness white screen. How hard can it be? Lack of context. While the watch provides a wealth of metrics, it often lacks context, particularly regarding factors like heart rate variability and recovery. This leaves users craving for more insights, as the app provides only the very early recovery and training evaluation. The evaluation of recovery overlooks other variables, such as stress, sleep quality, and is quantified rather approximately, depending solely on the estimated exertion of the training session. Sleep tracking. This feature is quite limited and sometimes inaccurate. It fails to provide comprehensive view of overall well-being, overestimate duration, reports inaccurate heart rate ranges, and skips important information such as breathing rate. HR sensor delay. I've experienced frustrating delay up to several minutes for the heart rate sensor to log on at the beginning of the training session. Notification. The notification display is basic, to put it optimistically, and alerts simply pile up without the ability to interact with them, except for deleting them and from the watch itself only. Alright, let's get straight to it. Despite these minor hiccups, the Core Space Trip still takes the crown as budget friendly fitness tracker chain. With course ongoing dedication, improvement, updates, and support, you can rely on the base trip to have your back, or should I say, your wrist. Enjoy your runs. Goodbye.